in advance, I have not had a lot of time to prepare for this because I'm also a barista and I recently got a promotion. He's not even paying attention, it's cool. Um, I basically became an adult overnight. Has anyone else experienced this? I'm 32, I didn't have a credit score until 12 hours ago. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not even kidding. I texted my friends, I was like, you guys, this is amazing. I had to get a credit card, a prepaid credit card, to get credit so eventually I can live alone. Because <laughs> right now, I live in a fort in some dude's living room and I sleep in a hammock with my cat like a fucking lost boy. <laughs> There's a Nerf gun in the little pocket. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life, but I uh, I decided to go furniture shopping recently. I was like, I'm gonna get a bed. Oh, futon, come on, baby steps. I'm not gonna just go out and buy a bed overnight. I, uh, I have to wear collared shirts to work, so now I look fancy all the time. And then I have to take them to the dry cleaner, which I have never done. And it turns out it's really expensive because anything I owned before that that was dry clean only just meant it never got clean. <laughs> you know, so you would wear it once, and then you forget about it for a month. I have a shirt, legit, it was my great grandma's, it's never been washed, I still wear it. You'll know it, it's brown. <laughs> uh, I've been entertaining the idea of a uh, summer, summer romance. Any single people in the house? Hands up? <laughs> Hands down if you have Tinder. Oh, it's everybody? All right, you guys just met in real life, you're welcome. I, uh, I don't know, man. Dating's, dating's kind of hard for a fun lady, because like, people see my tattoos, they draw conclusions. Some people think I'm a bitch automatically because I'm covered in tats, or like, you know, they assume that I'm of a different caliber and they can make jokes. One guy recently told me I had really pretty eyes, but in a way that made me feel like they were my face tits. <laughs> <laughs> But the same week, a Lyft driver told me I look like if Captain Crunch had a girlfriend. So I normally look, this is like, it was so hot today, you guys. I don't, I don't normally dress like this. I'm normally like combat boots. And I, I look like someone whose dearest ambition was to run away and join the circus. But like, now I'm in LA, I might just, I don't know, run away from the circus and join home. Settle down, I don't know. It's not really my thing, but you know, it's breakup season. You can just go sad boy shopping. <laughs> I, uh, have you ever like told a dude he can't do something? Like, he's gonna try real hard to do it. I legit am like, I'm just never gonna get married. I've been proposed to a couple times. <laughs> Guys, I'm either never gonna get married or gonna get married like 12 times. Elizabeth Taylor, like just now. This, um, oh, you thought I was gonna take you seriously? <laughs> Number seven. No, I deleted Tinder recently. Another part of growing up, which was weird. Like I have time to date. I legit work like 60 to 70 hours a week. But I, uh, something came up before I did. There was a guy on there. And like most of the dudes are like really into hiking. They're into outdoorsy shit. They're like snowboarding and they do CrossFit. Like, Look at me, man. I'm into mimosas and like 80s action films. Like I'm not, I'm not a CrossFit kind of girl, but I did come across a dude who his bio just said, I'm not gay, but I love Jesus. <laughs> and his profile picture was himself hauling a giant wooden cross. And I'm like, man, that is like the deepest into CrossFit I have never seen a dude go. <laughs> I wouldn't date that guy even if he could turn water into wine. But he'd also probably get mad if I said his dad's name in bed. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, has anybody ever had this happen where you're sitting somewhere? I've, saw, I've seen it in shows, like girls, I think they talk about like which sex in the city character they are. No one's ever encountered this? Yeah. Okay. You know, they're like, I'm a Charlotte with fucking whoever, because I've never seen that show because it seems boring. And I was like judging them really, really hard. And then I realized I've had that exact conversation with my friends, except about which Ninja Turtle <laughs> we are. So I'm like, I'm, I'm a Raphael with like a little bit of Michelangelo. So like, Raphael is cool but crude. Michelangelo's a party dude. You better remember the song? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's all I have prepared.
prepared for this show, and Aaron is gone, so I could keep talking. I've got old stuff. You guys, I, I saw on a show recently, there are people that compulsively eat toilet paper. Has anybody <laughs> seen this? It's a real thing. They're like addicted, like my secret addiction or my weird addiction. I don't know what it is, but like eating fucking toilet paper. I have so many questions. Like, are they in the bathroom, like on the toilet, just roll to mouth eating it while they're like out with the old and with the new? Do they carry toilet paper with them? Do they shop in like a different part of the grocery store where like they keep gourmet? Toilet paper? Do they have gourmet toilet paper? I don't know. Is like the camping ones, like the thousand rolls? Is that like the granola bars of toilet paper? Do you think they still need to wipe? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go out on that one. Give it up for Aaron. That's a really cool thing. I love it. <laughs> Yes, give it up for Vanessa. Woo!